Welcome to this episode of Taylor How You See a Podcast. I got a very special guest today. I got Georgia Tech, Yellow Jacket, Hall of Fame quarterback, college, college Hall of Fame quarterback, Joe Hammers. Appreciate you coming on the show today. Thank, thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you because I'm normal. I want to be normal. I want to be very, very normal. What's different? What's different? Right. I, I took a snap. Right. Or I said, hut, hut, hut. Right. No, that is going to make me different. Right. Let's chop it up, All man. Right. Let's right. chop it up. We're going to start off. Um, you, I know you're from Alabama, South Carolina. I know you went to Macedonia High School. We're going to start off right there, man, in, in your high school career as far as having uh, t- uh, Bobby Bowden and J- uh, Bobby, uh, Joe Paterno coming to your living room and talking to you about giving, giving you a scholarship, man. Just, just talking about your whole high school career and, and your experience. Well, unbelievable. Okay. Still, are you gonna pinch me? Don't pinch me. I don't pinch. But, but, but because that's what it's all about. Because Tom Osborne, yes, sir. Joe Paterno, and those guys coming to my living room and they saying that I want you. Right. All me and my dad talked about is that max out. Do your very, very, very best. Do you what have? Do you have what it takes? And I'm telling you, Dre. What it takes is I'm, 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 I'm starstruck. I'm starstruck with myself. Right. Do you belong? Right. And just this weekend, just this past weekend, I got inducted to the Georgia Sports Hall of Fame. Okay. About last year, I got inducted to Atlanta Sports Hall of Fame. But I'm from South Carolina. What does this mean? Right. And that's why I asked my dad, uh, my mom, and my people from South Carolina, what are, what are we doing here? That's the whole thing. I don't think I belong here. I, I kind of understand what's going on. And the only thing I'm saying, did we play that good of a ball? Did we play at that type of level to reward us being here? Now the proof is you put the work in. No, the proof's in the pudding. You put the, work in. You put the, work in. the proof's in the pudding, but I can't believe it because I'm a historian. I love everything sports. I love everything, whatever, golf, uh, hockey, baseball, football. I know about it. Is but it? me, that's where I'm dealing with now. I I don't know, man. Is I'm in awe of myself. Right, right. Well, man, well, we're gonna get into the joy tape right now. Um, just your freshman year, Georgia Tech, you know, what, 1996, right? Yes. I know. Uh, N- 95. Okay, 95, 96. Um, just talk about your freshman year, just walking on campus and just, just you know, being green, just freshman year, just, I mean, then, then you, start, you, start, you started your freshman year, right? And that true freshman year. Rich, 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 Rich. Yes. Okay, okay, okay. Just, just, talk about that for, just talk about that first year. And then, uh, 1997, Citrus Bowl. Yeah. In MVP. Well, it was this though. It was this. Okay. This is how you show and tell. Okay. You show and tell by showing and not saying much. Okay. Right. You you can't say much when you get in the organization. I don't care if it's football, basketball, uh, Fortune 500. Shh. Right. You might be talented. Put in work. And that's what I did. Right. I want to be one of those guys that said, no, I, watch me. Right. I was a watch me leader. Okay. Until I evolved into, I can be a vocal leader. But the guys, everybody who was talking about Georgia Tech and anything, they knew and they know now that, boy, Joe's going to bring that practice. Right. Joe's not going to take a down off. Joe's not going to take a practice off. Joe's not going to take a weight room session off at all. And they, they, they knew that. And it's more specific that you're a quarterback. Right. Aaron Rodgers, Russell Wilson, the way they're doing things. And I know Speaking of Russell get, Wilson, I mean, you, you got a 5'10 quarterback thing going on, too. I, I, I know you understand that. I mean, just to speak about, you know what I mean, just people saying you can't, you know, y'all can't see all over the offensive line. I mean, it's, that's a myth, but I know, I mean, I, I just want to hear it from your perspective. Because you know, I, I know you, you've been through You've you never been able to sell it before. This is my perspective about that. How many quarterbacks are taller, taller than their offensive lineman? Not many. And, no, no, just in your opinion, Dre. How many? Not, uh, How many quarterbacks are you talking about? Six five, six six. 
because that's the status quo of an offensive lineman. How many of your favorite quarterbacks are taller than the offensive linemen? Offensive linemen go about 6'5", at least. At least you're at your offensive tackle for it. It's hearsay then. Yeah. It's hearsay. And what, I, what I'm saying to you is this. Every quarterback has to find their lanes. Right. Am I looking through the one technique or I'm looking through the first read, the second read? I got to maneuver. I got to have pocket awareness. Right. I have to have maneuverability to where I cannot let my ball get battered down. Yes, sir. Bottom line. I mean, who? who? It's got to be able to see through window. Who, who doesn't have to see through a window? Right. You tell That's me. That's all it is. You read progressions. You, you, right. I don't want to hear it. I, I don't want to hear it. Trevor Lawrence. You don't want to hear that middle no more. That that five ten quarterback, that uh, that under six foot quarterback uh, can't can't make it. We we don't want to hear that no more. Dispel this, guys. Trevor Lawrence at six six in an all out can't miss prospect. Care, uh, Trevor Lawrence has to find lanes. He he he. He's not tall. He's tall. He tall. He tall. He, because he's not tall enough in his offensive of lineman. You must find lanes. Right. And if you don't find lanes, if you don't anticipate, if you don't predetermine coverages, you're going to be at a stalemate as far as getting to your level you want to get to as an NFL quarterback. All right. Well, we're going to talk about the Gator Bowl, man. You use the MVP 1999 and year 2000. I mean, just, just talking about that experience. And I mean, I mean, you, you get 1999, in my opinion, was your, was your greatest year. I mean, you had so many awards for that year. You know, I had the trophy runner up. It was in there with some great guys, Ron Dane, Drew Brees, uh, Chad Pennington. I mean, it's a great class right there, man. Yeah, yeah. Everything you're going to talk about right now is going to be predicated on I did my job. Okay. Right? Okay. And I'm grateful. That, 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 that's what it's going to be predicated against because, again, I'm a quarterback and I demanded. Back to back here, though, man. Yeah, but I demanded a lot. Okay. You, my, my, my whole career and my gratification of my whole career is when I've been inducted in a few Hall of Fames, but my, my, my teammates said and they called, hey, Joe, we got inducted. Right. They said, we. Right. And I was demanding. I was demanding. The only thing I was demanding about how you come to practice, how you approach this game, how can we win, are you taking things for granted? Because, and I cut things, for, I, I, I cut things short. Uh, academics was on a back burner. I corrected that because I got my degree later on. Right. But my teammates were like, Joe, we got in. And only they say we got in because of the high level we played. We played at a high level. So we, they, we got what we deserved. And, and I didn't cheat the game. I did not just again, one of the most and most respected comments I've ever heard that from any teammate or my teammates is that we got in. They thought that, uh, they're thinking now that Georgia Sports Hall of Fame, Atlanta, host, Atlanta Sports Hall of Fame, College Sports Hall of Fame, we got in. Right. Goodness. Right. That feels good to me as a quarterback. Right. Okay. Well, what do you think about Calvin Johnson, man, being a Hall, being in the Hall of Fame this year? And Joy Tickle on that. You know what I mean? What do you think about him getting in on the first ballot? Should, deserve, okay. humbled. It's the exact same thing. Calvin Johnson and I have a really good relationship. Cool. Humbled is all, this is the ultimate question we ask our we ask each other. How did we get here? Right. What happened? Right. You know what I mean? We know what happened, but what really happened? Because nobody, when you're talking about an all-time great, sets out to be a, a Hall of Famer. What they set out to be is to win championships and to lead their team and to do all that. Not any individual goal. The Hall of Fame is an individual goal. Right. What Captain Johnson, he and I talk about, that's individual. Right. We don't talk about that. We talk about team, and then all of a sudden we wonder, how do we get here? How do we get here? And Calvin Johnson got there, and I would love to play against him. Matter of fact, I said to him, like, what, maybe a month ago? Yeah. Calvin, catch a ball for me. 
That's how I honor him. Catch. Right. It, 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 it in center that I deal with it, as far as snapping the ball, let me get a snap. I'm a ball guy. Right. I, I'm, I, I don't think the phone from that. Calvin Johnson is one of those guys that if he's in your presence and you can take a picture with your kids, do it because he's that legendary. Okay. I'm start, man, with your, with your NFL career. And uh, round seven of the NFL draft, Tampa Bay Buccaneers, they call the name Joe Hamilton, man. What was the feeling? Good feeling, Dre. Really good feeling. But not so much a good feeling. And I, I'm going to tell you why it's not so much a good feeling. Because you're sitting there and guys will tell you that I just want to be drafted. Right. I don't care where I'm drafted at. Right. And that's true. But I was looking at quarterbacks, Dre. Right? right. The quarterbacks that got drafted ahead of me. And I was comparing myself. Mm -hmm. In right, wrong, or indifferent, I was comparing myself. Oh, who? who? He? Let's compare the numbers. I'm thinking and I'm anticipating where I might be drafted, maybe not sixth round, maybe not fourth round, whatever, but I'm anticipating this. This I, point, yeah. Well, I tell you this, I tell you this. This is so very honest. This is what happened to me. I could outwork you. Right. In high school, I could outwork you in college. I could not outwork you in NFL, in the NFL. That was the most disappointing thing to me because my dad and I, we always talk about when you wake up in the morning and I can lift more weights, I can get up at four o'clock, when you get up at six o'clock and all those things, and that meant something. Even in college, that, yeah, hey, man, he spent all those time, all those days, really doing that, and he, yeah, you can see it. It didn't pay off in the NFL. Right. And that was, dis it hurts me. That was so disappointing to me in the NFL. I cannot outwork you. Sean King, Sean King, shout out to you, Sean King. Sean King told me that I'm working, and this is how you make this team, and all of a sudden, and he said a lot of things, and he's still my boy now. Same with him. Yeah, he said, I don't have to do that now. Right. That's what he said to me. And the, and the general com uh, topic of conversation was how you make the team, how you get better, and how you make sure that you lead it. And he told me, I don't have to do that now. Because he was telling me how to make a team. You work hard, you run through the sprints, you run through the cones, and you do the things in the off season. And he said, I don't have to do that now. I said, Sean, you don't have to do that now? I'm going to take your job. But I can't take his job in the NFL. Right. Yeah, I can take that little ounce of what you just said that way. I got a sneak door, back door, little Joe, and I can get ahead of you. No. Sean King's going to be the starter with Joe Hamilton every day of the week because that's the way the NFL goes. So my point is that my dream and my goal of reaching to the NFL was disappointing to me yes, sir. because I couldn't work and take your job. Right. And it very disappointing. I'm a better quarterback than Sean King. Sean King, I can call you up on Sean King's number right now. Right. Sean, I'm much better than you. Right. I can't prove that. Brandon Johnson, Super Bowl champion, who caused me to have a Super Bowl ring. Right. I'm betting you, I can't prove that. Right. Because of the business of the NFL, up until the NFL, where I thought it was fair, I'm a, I'm a competitor. Right. And the NFL took competition out of me. Right. So, uh, just talking about playing for Tony Dungy. Oh, my goodness. Tony Dungy. Um, is my mentor now. Right. I love him now. Right. I call him up now. He would answer the phone now. And he was so even keel. And he was so much of, I'm not going to conform to what should be happening. Okay. No, 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 no. And up front, and not yelling, not cursing, not doing any of those. Tony Dungy is. And I, Tony Dungy did this to me, man. I tell you, Dre, he did this to me. Me, Joe Hamilton, never only played four downs, meaningless downs in the NFL. When he retired, 
But excuse me, but he retired. He texted me, Joe. I appreciate our time together. Mm. Can you can you just let that sit in your spirit a little bit? Just this Tony Dungy texted me, Joe Hamilton, that didn't have anything to do with any success. He texted me personal. Now it wasn't one of those to whom may be may concern or hey guys. Joe, right. we didn't have a chance to get, get know each other, but I want to know. The only, I want to let you know I'm grateful. Tony Dungeon, greatest guy I've ever met, one of the best mentor I've ever seen, and I can call him up and now again, and he's giving genuine advice to better you, and better you because again, um, I'm from South Carolina, right, Pedro? Um, I'm in the Atlanta Sports Hall of Fame, the Georgia Sports Hall of Fame, College Football Hall of Fame, and all those things. And I'm wondering why. What's happening? Why? I'm asking Jesus. I'm not afraid to even say Jesus. I'm asking the good Lord. I'm, I, I'm asking why? Why? Platform. Right. Platform. Tony Dungy taught me platform. How are you going to use your platform? How are you going to pack others? How are you going to be one of the how you gonna influence guys? Right. That's what he told me. Impact the line. Yes, sir. Gotcha. As far as uh, playing with uh, guys like uh, John Lynch, Warren Sapp, you know, what I mean, Derrick Brooks. Like, just, just, just tell me about playing, playing with having old teammates in the locker room. No downs off. We can all fans. Well, we we know what's going on in our city now. Let's let's not decide. Uh, uh, kind of. Put it on the back burner. Julio Jones, right? Right. Does Julio Jones practice a lot? And all he can't practice because that's that toe. What that toe? Bad toe. What toe? It's toe. It's toe ain't right. It's toe being messed up for 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 a minute. You believe in that? I'm just asking. So we're just chopping it up. I rather I rather have Julio on the field on Sundays. And this year he only played nine games. And for twenty million dollars, that's not enough games. Nine games is not enough. So I mean, it, it, I mean, if you can trade them, you can't trade that that why, contract, right? Well, why, in your opinion, why does uh, Julio Jones and Matt Ryan struggle in the red zone and struggle in Max? Now, uh, again, uh, this is your interview. interview yeah. You interviewing me, but I ask you this: Has Julio Jones and Matt Ryan maxed out? Yeah, it's over. No, I'm saying, did they match up to their potential as far as what they can do? They could have been way better. Just like you said in the red zone. Uh, Julio, Julio's red zone numbers are terrible. But why is that? So <laughs> they going they going to really in the, in the, in the, Why is that? And he's way smaller. Well, why is that? Why, 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 do, why do they I don't know. I don't know. It's something about that 20 yards. Maybe he get over. Um, he don't really get over in 20 yards. So he need the old field to get over. I don't know what it is. But Chemistry? It ain't chemistry because they've been young. They've been young for that sport. It is so chemistry. Yes. Yeah. So you you almost talking like an offensive line and a defensive line. But I want to bring this to you. I need you, if I'm Matt Ryan, I need you to practice. Right. I need you. Right. Feeling that feel like a few years back when we went over for whatever in the red zone, one for four chances, and we went to Julio Jones and all that. I need you. That time to say, hey, no, they've been together eight years, they should know each other. No, it does not work with work like that with quarterback and wide receiver. Yes. Because this is the deal. Maybe you are a four three guy. Alright? I'm judging you as a four three guy. But all of a sudden you may be a four five guy. I need to know that. Right. I need to throw passes to you as a four five guy. Right? That's the disconnect. And I firmly believe that Matt Ryan, Julio Jones now, <laughs> he's got uh, 25 touchdowns left out there because of Matt Ryan. Right. But I don't know who to blame for it because, again, no chemistry, no, I can throw blindsided and get you connected and all that because he doesn't, he doesn't practice. It's a problem to me. Okay, and it's so not a problem to you. Say it's an issue in the red zone. Very much an issue. Okay. And it's not a problem. That's the answer to your question, uh, Love Fabric fan. Red zone. They need chemistry. Julio got to practice. 
He, Hulu's got to practice, and Matt and Ryan's got to designate, and he's got to dictate. Please, and, you know, I, I must be clear. I don't need that Wednesday. I don't need that Thursday, and maybe not Friday. But at one set, one point in time during the week, give me fifteen straightforward, full speed routes that I can time it up. That I can be there where you're gonna be because listen to this. Okay. I don't want to risk him getting hurt in prayer. Well, Say it again. I don't want to risk him getting hurt in prayer. And I so much agree with you because you you one of those coaches that get him to the gate. Get him to the gate. Let's get Julio on Sunday. Get him to the gate. So how do you expect for me and Joe Hamilton to Matt Ryan to be on the same page on Julio Jones or with Julio? Hopefully y'all got that chemistry and training camp. Well, well, hold on. What do you mean hopefully? See, that's what that's that's what it need. That's what no, it no, need. No, what, do you, what do you mean, hopefully? Because guys, what do you mean, hopefully? Again, Dre is almost saying it's magic. What do you, what do you mean, hopefully? I mean, hopefully, because, because you ain't gonna get no press time during the regular season. Do that's you that. think Julio Jones has the same speed that he came in the league with? No, exactly. Right. So now, if I'm Matt Ryan, how can I judge that? Am I going to judge your speed or your de- 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 the way you're declining on game day? How am I going to judge it? Right. If you you expecting me all of a sudden to Russell Gage or whatever we said, Kevin Ridley. I had I worked with them all season, all in that hour season, but all practice long. And on game day, you want me? You want me to throw the Julio? And these guys get open, not get practice with these guys. And Julio might have dropped from my half. Drop from a 4-5 to a 4-4. Four, four. Well, he, in my opinion, he's not no more receiver on that squad no more. I, I don't think he's no, I, I think he's really. My opinion is well. Yeah. But I need to know as a quarterback whether you were running a 4-4 four, four or a 4-3 four, or 4-6. Four, right. How am I, it, you, you want me to judge that on game day? On practice. Right. I said, so I don't need you to practice, but I need you to give me whatever you have, 15 full-speed routes, 15, if I'm not running, I'm not just quarterback, 15 full speed routes on Saturday, let me know. And I can adjust. We're going to talk about that coach career. And y'all, just being in the quarterback room with, with Peyton Manning, man, I, you got you to you let me know about that. Well, well, Peyton Manning is one of these deals, and that's when you deal with a guy, you hear about a guy, and then you look at a guy, and being in a room with a guy is different. Peyton Manning is a ball guy. Ball guy. I seen Peyton Manning ask Coach Tony Dungy, who drafted me with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, mm-hmm. who only gave me my opportunity there in Indianapolis. He gave it to Peyton. Peyton, what do you think? Do we need some more work? Do we need some time off? And he knew what he was doing. He gave it to Peyton, and Peyton was going always work. Yeah. Marvin and I, or Reggie Wayne and I, or Adrian James and I was a little off. We might need some time to, <laughs> that's, that's when you're talking about perfectionists. Right. That's when you're talking about true Hall of Famers and believing in the games. And, and no time off. I've seen Marvin Harris, Harrison okay. and Reggie, Reggie Wayne sh- shrunk their shoulders because Peyton Manning said, where you going if anybody played football, he know they he know they jump and he is too. No, no, no. <laughs> what I'm talking about is that you know every football player within an hour, two hour practice, they're trying to get home, oh, they're I trying see, to get out and wash up. And Peyton is not really Peyton Manning is asking Marvin Harrison right. and Reggie, where y'all going? Where y'all going? Right. And he's only asking man that. Like, we had that comeback route that hit the ground. Right. He's not saying we just missed it. We had a bad practice. Hey, Marvin, can we get this co- connected? Can you run another dig for me? Right. Just those little things. And they're trying to jog off, and they're trying to jog off because they're running from Peyton Manning. Right. Man, goodness, can I get away from perfectionists? Right. So, so those things of you not trying to perfect your craft, you don't have a relationship. And one of the things that I would say with the Julio Jones and situation with Channel Shop going on, this is where I, this is where I'm at with this. Go ahead. I I really really hope that Matt Ryan can call Julio Jones and say what's up, bro. 
And a lot of people is telling me that no, they don't have that type of relationship. It's not like that. It's all work. You can have a work relationship and an off the field relationship and all that. Jerry, I'm not buying it. I'm buying it, but I'm not buying it. You don't have a career like that. You don't have a two future Hall of Fames. Who the Jones is bona fide Hall of Fame? Okay. Maybe Matt Ryan, I don't know, but then Matt Ryan's not good, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just be honest, you know. Yeah, I gotta keep real yeah, till I you, see. But, <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> but, you, but, but you don't have that the way he can't call and pick up the phone. Right. Right. Me and you have a really good relationship with that top notch and all that. Right. But golly, I'm gonna call you here, yo, Dre. Right. What's up? Right. I'm hearing rumors. Right. I don't see that. I got you. It's, it, it's disappointing. That's it. Very disappointing. Well. We're gonna talk about uh, what about that transition, man, between uh, uh, from Tony, Tony Dungeon to to John Drew, and just playing for John Drew, uh, just just that transition, just uh, like like uh, did you think that uh, that y'all needed John Drew to get get to the next level? No doubt about it. Okay. No doubt about it, because corners started to be started to be cut. Okay. He started to backdoor a little Joe. He started to take things for granted. I see. And it was needed. I see. And Coach Dungy never, ever, ever find anybody. Right. He held you responsible. He was saying that you're a man. I told you what to do, and you should do it. And that's what it is. I guess. Right? So now, at the end of the day, when people try to come to the back of the line, well, I'm going to park in this handicapped space. Yeah, Coach Dungy said not to. But I can get away with it. Cutting corners. Yeah, yeah, but cutting corners, and you know that eventually comes to fruition when you're trying to go back to got to pay for it eventually. And Gruden came in and just gave him a little bit of check. excitement, checking, and uh, hula. Right. I'll chest bump you. If you oh. score a touchdown, I'm there for you. Really? Coach Dungy is one of the smoothest guy. You will never know what kind of mood he's right. in. Right, right. But John Gruden came Smooth in upgrade. and telling uh, Kiffin, the defensive coordinator, My kid. Yes, sir. Ooh, what's my script? We're going to dominate. Let's have practice this way. Ooh, I got this, you know, split right, stat right. Tampa 2, Banana, and they are really getting into it, so it's a different feel right. and excitement that was needed. I know, I know, I know, I know, Drew loves his quarterback. Woo, no. and Coach Denny did, did not do anything wrong. Defense coach. Yes. But I'm happy that he got his because he didn't change up. Nobody who I'm in, involved with changed up. Even John Gruden. Didn't change it. Jay Gruden, a lot of people don't know. Jay Gruden, I played for Jay Gruden three years in the Arena Football League. Okay. okay. Jay Gruden. Okay. Jay Gruden, not John. Jay Gruden with all that practice. So don't change up as a coach. And that's one thing about Coach Dungy and John Gruden, what I can say, they did not change up. This is my philosophy. This is how I go about it. This is how I'm going to get it done. Win, lose, or draw. Let's go. So the whole Chucky. Persona, that, that whole that whole mentality, that, that that's a real deal stuff. That ain't, that ain't no myth. Like he, he really, he really, he really in your ass in practice and stuff. Yes, but can you keep it up? Gotcha. Is it a persona? Because if it's a persona, I don't think it is. It, it's not. It's not it's, no, no, he loves ball. Right. He loves ball. That six a.m., five a.m. showing up to where he want to talk ball. No persona, but you. You, you you can't wear thin on NFL players. Right. And he, coach coach me coach. Gotcha. So Brad Brad Johnson, he ran his system the best in, in his opinion. And, and yeah, with Kenny, Kenny McCarty on the outside, uh, Keyshawn Keyshawn Johnson, Johnson, Johnson on the outside. Uh, uh, Pittman and Pittman running back. Running back. Uh, and Man, tell me about like that dude was swole, like you know what I mean? In the locker room, like, I mean, like that, that guy like, in, the, in the weight room, man, that, that guy must have been phenomenal. It, it, it's one thing when you talk about we right around the corner. Like all star playing that squad too. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Man, y'all have to tell. It's it's one thing about when athletes feel they right around the corner. My last year, that Super Bowl championship run, so everybody knew they were right around the corner. Dig deep. Give my best effort. I don't want to be the guy that's saying that I'm the you know slow you know slow leak or whatever. Give me, let me let you know we're trying to have a Super Bowl ring. I have a Super Bowl ring, right? Right. 
And I play stuff to you, right? Yeah. But I mean, hey, I mean, hey. I, I play scout to you. Hey, hey. Eat it up. And I, and I tell you this, and this is the funny story you, you know, you, you would like. I gave my dad my Super Bowl ring for like three or four years. Gotcha. Dad, here you go. I didn't say hut hut. Right. Hot su- Seriously, I was like, Dad, man, goodness, that's Brad Johnson's team. Brad Johnson won the Super Bowl. Those guys won the Super Bowl because that's how you do as a quarterback. Like, no, no, that's not me. But I'm changed now because I did have a role. I did have a scout team role. I did pay a pit. I, I begged Dad, Dad, can I have my ring back? I did have a, a part to do that with that. But I didn't see it at that time because I was so selfish about just playing and getting notoriety. It's not about that. It's about team. Yeah, yeah. we're going to talk about Super Bowl, man. You, you just did, but we're going to get into it a little bit more. We go. Okay. Super Bowl was 37, right? Super Bowl 37. Yes. Okay. Yeah, man. Just just think, just, just, just to talk, talk about it, that experience. I know I know you didn't start. I mean, just I'm just talking about just the whole Whole, I mean, that's just that's that's an event in, in itself. I mean, just going against the Raiders and y'all game playing y'all had against the Raiders and y'all that, that was a blowout, man. Y- y'all y'all with that tail, man. Uh, that y'all that John Gruden had, had been on. I got two thoughts for you. I, I, no, 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 the number one thought I have for you is that we grew up on Super Bowl Sunday, right? Right. And we waiting. What goes on that whole six hours? You know, we up at eleven, and the game doesn't start till one, or I mean, doesn't start till seven or six. What's going on, man? Beyonce and Sandy Moon, we just 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 performing right. and trying out a lot of celebrities on the field, just doing some pre-games activities. Right. So it's a lot if you're there. A lot of stuff going on. My goodness, right. there's a lot of stuff. A lot of stress. <laughs> and it's huge, huge. Y'all only had one well, week back then. Y'all only had two weeks. So I mean, these guys, they got two And it went back and forth. It went back and forth. We had to pack our bags. We had to get to the, uh, who you inviting in the real ticket quick. list. Real, real quick. quick. That's number one. But it's one of the NFC Championship. Yes. And you gotta go straight to the Super Bowl. And getting over the hill on the Philadelphia Eagles team that you hadn't been you hadn't beat. Right. Right? So all that, but you are absolutely right. Like what? One week. Get your tickets in. What are you gonna do? That's number one. Uh as far as Super Bowl Sunday is Super Bowl Sunday. You hear me? Especially two weeks leading up to it, the sports center and all that. That's the real deal. All that hoopla, all who you meet, that's by the time spent. Chill, you yeah, chill you know, right now. Yes. The next experience I got with that is that Bill Callahan didn't change anything. Yeah. I, you know, um, um, Warren Sapp, Hall of Famer, John Lynch. Is it? J- John Lynch. Sh- there should be a, should be a Hall of Famer. Yeah, yeah, nah, John. Nah, 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 I mean, Derek, Bob. D- 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 all yeah. those, those guys, in Dexter Jackson, the Super Bowl MVP, yeah, yeah, yeah. my best friend right now, okay. who on that team, we okay. talk often. They said it was the easiest game of their life. Right. The Super Bowl they being prepared. the Super Bowl being the easiest game of their life. You know why? Because Bill Callahan didn't change anything up. Right. They cannot believe because that's not a. A myth that John he had, he had Tim, ran Tim Brown, or Jerry Rice on one side. John Gruden ran quarterback. He had that quarterback. John Gruden ran quarterback that week for the Oakland Raiders okay. as far as scout team. Okay. He called all the syllables. He called all the checks. Everything was the same. He didn't change. And John Gruden changed. John Gruden for Tampa Bay changed up a little bit. Say, you know, Bill Callahan kind of knows this. Right. We must change. The thing. No, that's why Rich Gannon threw five picks, right. two or maybe three for, uh, pick sixes. Right. He didn't change. That was one of the most alarming things I've ever seen that four Hall of Fans on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers team told me and said publicly that was the easiest. The Super Bowl was the easiest game they ever played. Gotcha. Well, <laughs> what about uh, 
that's crazy. Once again, that's, that's the biggest game you ever played. That's the easiest game you ever played. Because this man wouldn't change up the city. We're going to get into that, that call you got, man, for the College Football Hall of Fame, man. Just, just how to do your feelings that you got when we got that call. Well, um, I'm from South Carolina. Right. And you don't ever talk about going to a Hall of Fame. I want to be a Hall of Fame. All you really, really talk about is I want to be a champion. Right. I want to win championships. That's it. But it was surreal. Right. Very, very surreal. And I tell you what really brought me to a little bit of tears emotionally. And uh, because when I got inducted, my teammates, Dre, my teammates said, this is what they said verbatim when they called, when they texted. We got in. Right. They said we got in. I'm like, what are you talking about? We got in. So they felt because I'm not a tough leader, but they better know you better practice. Right. You better come because if we lose, that guy, he must beat us. He better beat us. Right. We, we're not gonna have step. We're not gonna. He better beat us. Right. But when they call into it and said, or call and text me, we got in. No better feeling. Okay. For them to say, we got in from Athens, South Carolina, and athlete on the board, athlete there, and you might not be able to play quarterback, and you not might do, that's all good. But when they say that we got in, that was no it. better feeling. There's nothing I said to you today right now is a better feeling than that, than my teammates, all of them, offensive line, defensive line, wide receivers to say when I got inducted into a few all of things that we got in. They really genuinely feel that, hey man, hey, we, we in another one. Right. <laughs> right. Not just me, they're not saying congratulations, they say, hey, we are, we, we're there again. Yes. That means a lot. All right, well, when you started, man, with your, with your career that you got right now, six eight the fan, home team in Hamilton, uh, I got some current. NFL questions and NBA questions for you. Uh, first one, we're going to start off with these quarterbacks that just got drafted. Uh, what do you think about uh, Wilson going to the Jets? And what about that fit with the Jets? And how do you think he's going to do? Because I, I, like, I, like, I, like, I like Wilson a lot. You do? Yeah. Why? I like him on tape. Huh? I just like what I see on tape. I, I guess it's the all, all, all platform throws yeah, yeah. and, and he, the way he's able to strong, maneuver yeah, and he, 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 do he things with his legs. Yeah, stuff like that. He reminds you of Pat Mahomes. Yeah, all this stuff, Aaron Rodgers, comparisons, stuff like that. <laughs> do you like him? I just like him on tape. He more. Dre, do you like him on tape or you hear seeing like him on tape? I love him on tape. Do you or do you? I like strong like one quarterbacks and I like more quarterbacks. Do you like him or do you hear say like him? They done talked me into it. I ain't gonna say it. I, I, I ain't gonna say they, yeah. they, they ain't talking me into it. But I, I can't go I with you like that. that. I can't go with you with that, Dre. Right. And you my man. They, they, done talk, they done talk me into it. <laughs> they done talk me into well, it. Why don't you try it? They done talk me into him over Justin Fields. Why? I just like him more. No, they talked you into that. So 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 let's yeah, get yeah, into yeah, it. He yeah, yeah, ain't playing a better competition. No, no we do the show because right, right. we but no, that, that that's so terrible on your boy, Dre. Okay. Be, exactly. Yeah. I mean, because how are they gonna talk you into what you've seen? Well, I you've seen that. nothing, nothing, absolutely nothing. You're gonna give me two games with Justin Fields of Northwestern, and I forgot the other that he struggled. You've seen nothing that gonna downgrade Justin Fields. What, why would you just downgrade Justin Fields? I ain't gonna downgrade Justin Fields. I just, I just, I'm just gonna put Wilson over. Why? I just like him more. Because <laughs> the, the, the mobility, just the mobility and strong, the strong arm. I think I strong arm. And both of got, both of got mobility. All uh, right, so, so, so we do this show. So we, this is a good show too. No, no, no. You don't even believe it. You don't think his arm is stronger than Justin Fields? You, you don't even believe it. I think, I think Wilson's arm is stronger than Justin Fields. Well, again, it's, it's this deal. It, this is it. Um, the young quarterbacks growing up and the young com quarterbacks coming in, uh, obviously, Trevor Lawrence, plug and play. Of course. Obviously, Zach Wilson plug is going to be plug and play. I would do the same thing with San Francisco, plug with and play. Hey, this is my guy. I'm going to have growing pain. You think he's ready? No, he's not ready. I think they're going to take him a year. Let him get ready on that year. 
Let him get ready. You don't get ready. That's a playoff team, though, man, with, with Jimmy Garoppolo. So what? We're going to take a... Well, what do you mean? Jimmy, Jimmy Garoppolo was there last year. Yeah, but he, but he got hurt. But they'll play our team if he helps. Oh, yeah. I agree, but my point is, don't even worry about Jimmy, Jimmy, Drop, Jimmy Garoppolo. You hand that ball to Trey Young. I'm going to trade that from day one. Go. Carry me where you want to go. And I'm, lead, I'm, I'm living with the busts and bruises. Okay. And there are going to be busts and bruises. A lot. Same way I feel about Chicago. Well, and, and I don't like. I do not like. Man, want. I do not like the approach that Nagy's taking. His job is on the line, along with with the GM. Hand that ball to Justin Fields. They won. Because because again, you learn with the number one reps. You 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 in the huddle with number one guys. You throwing the number one guy. I, you, you, the growing pays with number one guy. So, Tua Tungabaloa, I think, for example, Tua Tungabaloa, he did okay when he came in. I but, am not a fan. But, but if you had handed him the ball day one, we could see more. But he wasn't going with number one reps. If I'm going with number one reps. Fitzpatrick getting him no more reps. Huh? Fitzpatrick getting him no more reps. Yes, give it to him. Right. And, exactly. and announce it. Right. What you hiding? They won. What you hiding? Now I don't agree with the Aaron Rodgers and Jordan Love. You can't do that. But with some of these guys, uh, Justin Fields, in my opinion, humble opinion, hand him the ball. Okay. Trey Lance, hand him the ball. So what's the difference between Justin Fields and Trey Lance than Zach Williams or Zach Wilson and, and Trevor Lawrence? You, 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 do you think San Francisco is going to win the Super Bowl with uh, Jimmy Garoppolo? They, they got they got a very good chance with Trey Lance. Do you think they're they going to win the Super Bowl with Trey Lance? I mean uh, Jimmy Garoppolo? No, no. Hand the ball to him. We seen that. We hand we, we seen him on the biggest stage. Hand it to him. He stuck he stuck it up on the biggest stage. This misnomer about learning from the bench is that a misnomer? Right. No, I, I'm not learning that plan. Right. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting some things. I'm not learning. Right. Don't get no fire. Right. Okay. That's my humble opinion. What about uh, Kyle uh, Pitts with Lana Fabian? What do you think about that fit? Awesome fit. Right. Gonna score a lot of points. No, no, of points. no, no, you're not gonna score a lot of points. You don't think so? Nah, not with number 11 and the rumors going on around him. You got a good running back. You got what? What a good running back? You don't like Mike Davis? He he, he, he gonna run the ball for you this year. Am I settling for Mike Davis? He's gonna run the ball, Dre. I don't want. I I, I, I don't want, really gonna have him. No Dre, I don't want you to get caught up into settling. I think you saw it. See you settling. But the defense gotta get better. He got they got Grady over there still playing. Kyle Pitts is a good draft pick. I thought when you drafted Kyle Pitts, he was the best player available. Right. Terry Fontenot and Arthur Smith did not lie to us as far as they're going to take the best available player. But without Julio Jones, can the Atlanta Falcons get to 30 points a game? I don't think so. I don't think so. So, so we, we still have to be patient. Yeah, we'll see. Losing, we Julio, to, we losing Julio Jones is a problem. Right. And we have to lose him. Right. No doubt about it. No, and he was very disrespectful. He was. He was. Very, very disrespectful. You can't, you can't come back to the right. with Roe. That was Bush League. Right. I, I, I don't like it. I, I didn't like it. But we had a better team without Julio Jones. Right. right. So, so, so now you got Calvin Ridley, uh, uh, Carpet, and who's on the Z? Who's at the wide receiver? Uh, and I love the pick. I love the pick because then Terry Fontenot did not lie to us because he said he's going to take the best available player. Right. And Kyle Pitts was the best available player going forward. And the fact that when a transition comes and you have a new quarterback coming in, a quarterback's best friend is a tight end. Why? Because he's right in my face. I can do a high. Right. I can do all that. Right. That's going to help him out. But at the end of the day, Kyle Pitts is not the answer. I guess. No. Do you think so? 
I like them. I, I like them. I love them. I don't like them. I love them. Hey, what can you bring? Right behind Trevor Lawrence, I think he would have been the best player in the draft. Right? Nah, that no, 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 no. We'll be talking about Atlanta Falcons' impact, though. He's going to have some impact. The boy's going to get over He's going to care about 100 balls this year. I got my note. I, I got my mental note. Right, right. I got my mental note, and I got my pen right here. Quick out, piss down for 80 balls this year. He's going to catch 80 yeah. balls. At least an 80 ball. Ooh, 80 balls and impact touchdowns. I'm going to say six touchdowns. Inline blocking. He ain't gone. You, you, ain't, you ain't driving from the block. You driving to catch that ball. You got other side from, from the block. But we'll move on. Now, I want to, I want to, I, I need him, and I believe in the pick. I, right. I'm really, really okay with the pick. I wanted to pick if Kyle, uh, Kyle Pitts, but. I know it's early, but, you know, the draft didn't happen. Free agency didn't happen, but I need your NFC Championship pick. I, I, I saw a draft. I got my NFC Championship pick this year. I got Rams versus Tampa Bay Buckingham. What's we'll the thing about that? I love that. I love that. I can't cut out too much. Um. Seattle Seahawks and Russell Wilson because they're gonna be there. Yeah, but but yeah, I can't I can't go. For I like the Rams this year, man. I love, I love Matt Stafford and I love him with with that squad they got. Sean McVay, you know they're they gonna do some big things this year. I got I got to win the Super Bowl. Who? The L. A. Rams, SoFi Stadium. The L. A. Rams will have a home Super Bowl this year, and they will win the Super Bowl. Can they protect? Matthew Stafford. They're gonna be okay. No, well, I know they're gonna be okay. I know they got the old man over here left time. No, no, no. What I'm saying, I'm not even talking about the old man and anything like that, but Barrett and Dom Consume, those guys that's coming from and the rookie uh draft pick. Check it out, they got Randy Messick and they catch the ball. Huh? Randy, they got Randy Messick and catch the ball. Man, you're talking about twelve, I mean twenty-two starters coming back from a I Super Bowl see, team. So you take you take a time over over, over, over the Rams and then Yes! How can you not? I got I got Ram. I believe in Matt Stafford that much. And I'm I'm, I'm so glad he got he, he getting this opportunity. What strong on quarterback. What this, this man has not what been this, this type of opportunity. Matthew Stafford. I I love I, <laughs> that man, I I I I didn't like that man since Jordan. It, it, it go all the way that, that strong one. Something about strong going quarterbacks. I, I just love the strong goal. So, no, okay, but I'll tell you what. make all the throws. Yeah, all the throws. Can you put it somewhere? He can put it somewhere. And can you leave? He got, he got a Hall of Fame. He, he got a Hall of Fame in Kevin Johnson. Kevin Johnson made him. He did. So, but, you know what I mean? But, who, who was throwing who was throwing Kevin that ball his whole career? Are you a Bulldog fan? No, I'm not. Yeah, I know. Okay. Matthew Stafford is not going to put you over the home. Okay, we're gonna see. No, Matthew said he's not gonna put the LA Rams over the hump because you're gonna have to score 30. They gonna score 30. Right, you're gonna have to score wood. Right, and you're gonna have to cook. And you're gonna have to be able to stop somebody from scoring 30. They gonna be able to stop them. And that was with Aaron Donald and Jerry Ramsey. You call two people. Buddy Ramsey and Jerry Ramsey. You call two people. But they, but they, they never go out both their positions. But I can call you. And one of them is the best defense player in the league. And, and, and one of them is shut down corner. And very physical on the outside. And you already know you can leave him, you can leave him on the outside by himself. He's going to go. He's not going to go. Then the Rams, and you can leave him by himself. He's going to go to work. Right, but I can call you four players or five players from uh, collectively the Tampa Bay's defense. And some great guys. That's all. Tell me how good defense. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna. Better offense as well. <laughs> nah. Antonio hey, Brown. Uh, they, got, they, they got more weapons, but they ain't gonna say they got good offense. But they got their brain. How do you judge it? Tell me, baby, still got their brain. Antonio Brown. He took my weapons. I see. I see you saying he took my weapons. They got good weapons. Like, Brown. I see you saying. For now. And they got experience. Tom Brady. Brady. Yeah, so. I see you saying. We're we'll gonna we'll go to the AFC Championship. Who you got? I'm gonna start it off. I got Chiefs, LA Chargers this year. I love me some hurt. Let's think about hurt. LA Chargers. The guy that gave me the AFC Championship this year. Rick, we had a coach. Right, they do got Rick, head coach. Can't do it. Mm -hmm. And Herbert, I love what he did. Love because it. Herbert came ready. Right. Even though in my home, my partner, home team, Brandon Lake, Brandon Lake, like to say, your boy, uh, 
the stab. <laughs> he's a he's a he's a Tyrod Taylor got stabbed in the lung. That's how he lost his job. That's fun. Ty- Tyrod always do his job some kind of way. But but Justin was ready. Right. He was ready to step in. Uh, new coach, new playbook, a different playbook. I would put them there yet. And, but that's the real deal. And that defense and all that, they all the real deal. I don't think you can look past the Chiefs. The offense line ain't, ain't, ain't going to be giving up by them sack this year. They're going to protect them. They're going to they protect the home by this year. And they did some research offseason. They made do. Right. Talking about the Chiefs. Right. They, 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 they accompanied. They cut what they needed to cut. They traded from the way they right. needed to trade it. They will be back. They will be back. But I want you to tell you this. Humble pie. Humble pie with Pat Mahomes. Yeah, he got he got him too, bro. Huh? He got, he got his humble pie already. He got him too, bro. Well, he needed it. and it, it, not, not he needed it because he's all world. And I will pick him my first quarterback ever. He's the greatest quarterback I've ever seen. I'll take it. Yeah, but, but it goes to show us and tell us that you better have something. You better have something to take me in front, or you're gonna be running for your life. Because he looked like more, he looked like a, just an old Jimmy and Joe. Right, when they put that pressure on you, yeah. Shaquille Beard and Duncan Sue. My next guy, my next team is New England. Okay, well, okay, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna Cam Cam Day one, who you start, Cam Newton or, or Mac Jones? Cam Newton. I'm starting Mac are you starting Mac Jones because of why? Gotta move on, gotta move on. Let me ask you this. Are you starting Mac Jones because of why I'm starting Trey Lance and Justin Fields? I just think. Because of the new boy, team. Yeah, boy, he ain't, he ain't young. He got the experience. He just has had all the good weapons in the Alabama boot. The boy is ready. He, 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 ain't, he ain't young. The boy, the boy is ready right now. Man, I, wish I, had, I wish I had a whole two hours to tell you how I love, love. I mean, love Matt Jones. Okay. Love. Okay. Matt Jones is a starter right away in the NFL. I think so. He has a ceiling. Okay. He's going to be steady at it. Right. He's not going to hurt you. He's steady at I love him. But at that point, he can't be out Cam Newton. Unless. All right. You don't think you're going to start one game and shit. Well, yes. But Drake, unless you're going to do this. Unless you're going to do this. this. Here's the deal. Unless you're going to say, hey, Matt. Here's your ball. See, that's the fine line. Right. If it's an open competition the way you say we're going to compete and we're going to have 12, uh, 12 reps in a period, 7 on 7 or 9 on 7 and whatever, and you get 6, I get 6, and you're going to grade that, unless you're going to do that, it's Cam Newton's ball. Gotcha. Gotcha. Right? And now, for personally, uh, uh, Matt Jones is going to be a 15, 12 to 15 year very good player. He's going to probably win a championship. He's going to extend uh, 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 Belichick's career. That's how I feel about him. He is, outside of Trevor Lawrence, the most ready because I don't believe in, wow, look at the offensive line. He had this guy. He had Waddle. He had Delon. I look at the way he placed it at and I look dissected it. It play by play, not just playing radio. Play by oh, the good footwork, maneuvering the pocket. That's a catchable ball. Where did he go? Did he re- reshuffle his feet? All that I'm looking at. Matt Jones is real, real deal. All right, he's telling y'all, Matt Jones is real deal. Real deal. He take that rope down his tape. <laughs> hey, I'm hey, hey, this, this is a good clip right here, man. I'm gonna show y'all. Hey, Matt Jones is the real deal, man. Joe Hamilton just broke it down. I'm telling you, Joe, Joe Hamilton just broke it down. But I want to say this too, though. New England. The New York Jets in the draft drafted Justin Fields. Zach Wilson wasn't the best quarterback in the draft. No. Or is not. He won. He won. Trey Lance is not the third best quarterback in the draft. You know, quarterbacks go high anyway. Well, what I'm saying is, if, well, I hate to say like I'm like a pro or expert, Justin Fields, man. He's going to be that man. He is that man. He already did man, but I'm talking about in the pros, in the yeah. NFL. Give it to him. Okay. Day one. Day one. Give it to him. Try to get to him day one. You, you, and you, I'm you talking about the New York Jets should have gave it to him. What did it, in uh, your opinion, we got to go. I know we got to go. Why, why did the New York Jets, New York Jets. Jacking him over, over Justin Fields. In your opinion. 
they just thought that he fit the team better. That's all. <laughs> and, and you know, you know, uh, Zach, Zach Wilson, uh, he shot, he shot up the draft boards. Uh, why? Why? In your opinion, test the test. You can scout, you know, scout and, and doing all that homework. No, not so in, in your in your opinion. In my opinion, I take Zach Wilson for real over Justin Fields. I love Zach. Because of what? I, I, I love both of them. Like, give me that list. What does that list do for you? Oh, did I this, like you fell into this yeah. side on that platform, and bro? They're long. They're stronger more. He, he throw eight yards. Oh, you saw that? You saw you, you saw that in uh, his uh, workout. Yeah. And then you know they, they be testing them boys when they measure those too. You know, measure those count too. I must say, you know, man, I'm a little disappointed in that because you, you went off of film. You went off of, you went with t shirts and shorts. I did. It's the same tape. <laughs> no, you got tape. You got tape, but what put you on the edge was Wait, tape against competition, dog. You win. You still got a better tape against a better competition. I will say that. You're right, you're right on that, Joe. <laughs> We're going to end this episode of Tell How You See It podcast, man. Joe Hamilton, College Football Hall of Famer. Thank you so much for coming on the show with me today. Till I see a podcast. Can't wait till next time, brother. Oh, it will be a next time, man. You, you heard him. It will be a next time with Joe Hamilton. Dante Williams, man. I'm signing off. Till I see a podcast. Thank you.